Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and I just got home from the gym. That is like the weirdest way to start vlog. But yeah, I literally just got home from the gym. I haven't been like to the gym due to there's something up with my car and I haven't been able to go to the gym this whole year. So it's basically been like, what is today? January 14th, like two weeks. I did at home workouts for like um, three days or four days. Um, but like, cause you can't do anything with weights, I'm not really a big like hit person, like high intensity interval training person. Like I'll do it like once a week maybe, but I can't do it four times a week. I prefer weight training. So yeah, um, it was so nice to go back. I feel good, but I need to get my fitness on guys. But I thought I'd show you guys my gym outfit. Sorry, I'm still like sweaty in it, but I've literally bought a ton of gym outfits from Forever 21. This one wasn't on sale, but um, a lot of the other pieces I got are on sale. And um, I literally always get my gym clothes from Forever 21 and I try and get them from the sale because I feel like gym clothes is one of those things that like it doesn't need to be like on trend because it's all about the colors and stuff like that so unless there's something I really want like this color then I'll just buy it from the sale so yeah I did a big little gym shop so I got let me show you guys so oh my god the lighting is so bad let me switch this on so I got this bralette which I feel like will go well with the um leggings that I'm wearing now and um, it's got like this stripe and this one's got pad whereas the one that I'm wearing now doesn't have pad Then I got this cobalt blue this one's got a bit of pad as well um, I can't remember how much this came down to but like the original price of it is so cheap anyway like 12 pounds for a sports bra in my opinion is such a good price and then I got these high-waisted leggings um, I couldn't tell the difference um, on the website for these two so but one of them was like 11 pounds and the other one was six pounds so I was like I'll buy both and then I'll see whichever one I prefer and I'll keep that one but because they're both cropped so um, yeah but this one's high waisted and this one came when well, I just opened the bag now to show you guys this was inside out which like made me think someone's like tried it on I know everyone tries things on and stuff but I don't know why it just creeped me out um, which is so stupid because in store everyone tries things on and then I got these shorts they were down to six pounds I don't know what they were originally uh, 11 pounds down to six pounds and I don't know about you guys but when I go gym like I boil like if I wear a t-shirt over this I feel sick and I won't be able to work out because as soon as I start to get a little bit hot like I get agitated I can't work out so yeah I I wear shorts in summer and a, and a bralette like this like a gym bralette like I, I could care less like if if someone thinks it's too revealing because I am too hot to give a damn like I will be a bitch if I dress up more which sounds so stupid but oh well if you like it you like it if you don't like it look away um and then this oh my god i'm obsessed with this i think i got this for like literally six or seven pounds and it's a cropped black hoodie and it was originally 16 pounds let me try this one on for you guys because i want you to see how cute it is look at how adorable this is for like what like six or seven pounds I absolutely love it and I feel like I could wear this with jeans to just go chill with my friends whatever we end up doing like super casual and cute so I absolutely love it but yeah this is pretty much um, the gym stuff that I got there's a bunch of other stuff that I also purchased which maybe I could do like a separate haul on because I got stuff from Misguided as well. I got a bunch of stuff from Misguided because i am got a few events and stuff coming up with like just my friends. So yeah, I might do all of that together in like a haul, like a try on haul. So I have to quickly have some food and get ready. I literally have 20 minutes to get ready. I'm gonna wash my bod and get dressed because my best friend Gornush and I um, are going to see Wicked in theatre and I would love to thank the Society of London Theatre um, for giving us the tickets to go and see Wicked tonight. Thank you guys so much. I will link them down in the description. But basically they're a non-profit organisation in London trying to support theatres and get people going down to the West End and going to theatre and I actually thought when they emailed me that that's such a good idea because I haven't been to theatre since 
when was the last time like i literally cannot even tell you but i know i saw wicked when i was in year three and i didn't understand the concept because i hadn't seen the wizard of oz so i was like oh my god i have to go back and watch this and gornosh my best friend moved here to the uk about four years ago five years ago so um she's never been to theater before in iran she's probably been to theater loads of times but she's never been to british theater so i thought it would be a really fun idea for her to come with me and yeah i'm super super excited so let me go get ready and we will catch up so i just got to victoria station and gornosh is late and gornosh lives 10 minutes from here 10 minutes but it's my fault because we're both late people we're late to everything in life um actually she's always on time to academic things as am i as am i but as in she's way more on time and um yeah i told her that i was running late and then it made her more late but to be fair her train's delayed but yeah i don't know where i'm going i can see hamilton oh it's literally right here how cool that's like the shortest walk outside victoria station ever like i was like walking out thinking i'm gonna be lost but i'm not i'm so excited I think I mentioned I watched this in year three, so I don't remember. And I'm currently fourth year of uni. So, Cornish and I have watched the first half. Really bad brain freeze. <laughs> she bought a slushy. Are you still brain freeze? I mean, if it's lasting more than a few seconds, it's not a brain freeze no more. Thund Thunderclap headache? It's not bad, thunderclap headache. Okay. How did you like the first half? It was really it's good. It's so good. Especially the like, end part of the first half. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ending of the, their voices. Yeah. Gornish thought that I thought that, it was recorded. Yeah, no, it's their actual voice. But Bechwada is their actual voice. It's so good. I said that should be Mekwana. The entire show was thinking how many of the gun insurance were set up. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much to the Society of London Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't thanking you. <laughs> I'm keeping this. No, 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 we're thanking the Society of London Theatre for bringing us here. Honestly, I think if you like, as in like, for me, it's such a cute day. Like, I absolutely love it. Yeah, we were holding each other's hands, but like, there's so many like friends, couples, all of this. But we had popcorn. And now, we, now I've got sweets. Gornish got me sweets and the slushy. Yeah, two straws as well. Um, <laughs> literally, actually, we have two straws. But you probably had to buy one man of four days. Yeah. I can choose it with a lot of money without a charge. I don't know what you're going to slushy about a charge. I'll do it. You did it outside as well to remember. What my brain is showing me? Maybe we'll try that one more. Gornish goes, this girl is green and has a boyfriend and me and you are sitting here holding hands because <laughs> we don't have one. I think, are you feeling powerful being wizard? Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling very powerful. Okay. She's like, the girl is okay, green. I wish I'm like locked in my hand. Yeah. Your hand because I wanted to feel like you know a couple of years not being left out after doing a simple the couple in front of me. Yeah, the couple in front of us was like this really cute, like I don't know, how old were they? Like 60 vibe. It was so cute. So, so I was so cute. I literally I I thought like, I wish we can do that without Yeah, that's why I held your hand. Baba, I swear when I get old, I'm gonna take you to wicked. I took you at least, you always have the memory. <laughs> Literally, yesterday, Gornish calls me up and she's like... I didn't know who to call because I was just really struck. I was like shaking as well. I'm going to go to the hotel. 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 
نگاه میکنم ببینم یه مرد شلوار کشیده پایین اونه لوف نشسته روی سر میگه من زنگ داده رو پویس نرده با کونه لوف With his bare ass بازی بود آخه بعد هیچ کم بهش توجه نمیکرد یکی نیست بگه آقا پاشو برو خونه تون خوب زدی تو بیکتوری جمعا کم از این خواهد تصمیم هم فیلم بگیرم از این قبیه رو بودم آیا سالومه سالومه سلام سلی جون دوستان بررسی کنی دوستی دوگی کنه با لندن هستی شمزار لندن بررسی کنه با ایمانیستی آقا کلی آبرو برای من نمونه خدا من چیزی اینو نمیدوشم این عطفه تو میفهمم من کی بودم اون از آبرو روزی اون توی سالان سینما این هم الان اینجا My mum made me this snack It's basically whole green toast with hummus and cherry tomatoes I'm very very hungry So it is Sunday and I am packing up because I am moving out. I know this might come as a random surprise that I'm moving out, but it's because it is not actually for long. I'm moving out for five weeks. I'd say two hours on public transport, hour and a half on public transport from my house, but it's just too long to commute for my next placement. So yeah, I'm, I'm having accommodation there. So yeah, I'm trying to pack, which is why my bed looks a bit messy. And I'm trying to get everything together. So today's vlog is probably going to go up really late or go up, I don't know, tomorrow or something. But yeah, I'm trying to pack. And it's so difficult to pack for five weeks because you have to pack bedding. You have to pack clothes for placement. It's basically like going to halls of residence, but for five weeks. And I live so close that I'd probably come back most days and just come see my mom and my friends and chill, whatever. But what can I do? I might just go see what it's like. And yeah, if it's too long to commute, then yeah, I'm just gonna have to, you know, bear it out and just stay in the accommodation. But if it's not long to commute, then I might just commute in the mornings, depending on what my rotor is, which I get tomorrow. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And um, the weather is so cold, that's why I've got a hood on, even though I'm in a warm house. So yeah, keep warm, guys. So this is what I'm taking with me. I've got some bedding as well that I'm taking. Sina is nice enough to take me. Hello. I did her makeup today, it doesn't look good in this lightweight. But, um, it actually looks really good. Yeah, she looks cute. I look like a mini version. I look so I sound so un unenergetic, but it's because I slept it's two hours. It's Sunday and we're so tired. I slept two hours. It's Sunday and I'm moving out. And so. we had such a wild night last night. It was a wild night. It's her fault, I know. I love the way this boot is like just deep enough to fit this. <laughs> Shoemaker. Sorry, I'll say that. You're actually going like 18 if she's not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm probably going like 30. Going 30 in a 30 mile zone. Why are, you, why are we so zoomed in? I don't know, I told you. It's like, it's, it's okay. my in the club, baby. So no Have your body. arms shrunk? <laughs> no, I usually put it here. I wish I had So last night, Seppi, me, Christina, and Mickey went Which out. Which are my two friends. Um, you guys will see them in my girls night out vlog that I put last month oh okay yeah yeah we we do girls nights out together all the time and it was so cute because we were out and actually someone recognized Seppi oh yeah that was cool coolest thing ever yeah someone recognized me in faces in Essex <laughs> yeah. it was our first time going out in Essex I've we wanted always the wanted whole to town go. experience yeah I've always we wanted to go we went to Sheesh in Chigwell it was so the food yummy was actually really nice oh my god that like, you guys I would like a hundred percent recommend that food. Yeah, their food was so nice. So good, like as in now I understand what the hype is about. Before I never understood the hype, and to be fair, the crowd is kind of like 
old people and a bit of young no, people. No, they had a mixture. It was it was mixed, but it's somewhere for everyone. I think like age yeah. wise, age wise, as in maybe not everyone would. Faces, I did not like. No, I didn't like it. But I'm really happy that I'm I went. I'm so glad there. that I went. I'm really I happy go I went and again. I experienced. Yeah, it. I was. I see just what didn't it's like, like it because like I Essex. thought that if I had a lot of fun in the sense of um, it was a nice, different experience to have than to go to where we always go out normally in normal clubs that we normally go to but to be honest I really thought that this Faces place would be so different to what it was yeah. I don't know what I thought I, thought, I imagined like the set of Tawi would be in there one of my friends was like yeah Tawi's lying he was right yeah it just was not yeah it's nothing like Tawi but the security guards were quite cute actually <laughs> Clubbing in Mayfair is so much better. Yeah, but the food in that yeah. um, but the food in Shish we were going back was for so one nice. I really percent. liked it. Now Sunny wants to stop quickly at Brent Cross, and then we're gonna go towards my new accommodation. I'm dropping Seppi off. She's leaving me today, which is really sad. Black music, baby, follow my Insta. Show you what I'm into. Deep what I'm into. All of your two-faced friends, yeah, I've been true. I've been dying for a chance to tell you I'm into you. Sina is making the most of the Victoria's Secret sale. So I just smashed them. So be sure. So cute. It's cute, right? Yeah. Are you trying to act like you were drinking sparkling water before you came out here? Ooh, I'm a sick fuck that was... So I'm back in the car with Sina. Um, I moved out. I've been very productive today. Yeah, I moved out for 23 minutes. And we're now driving back on the A40. Because I was the only person inside that apartment block and I felt too scared. That's pretty much as, <laughs> as far yeah. as the story goes. But you know, it's about what you get done on the computer that really matters. So. I'm really good at studying on commutes. I think you're used to commuting. Yeah, I'm used to commuting. So I commute an hour work each way for uni anyway. Yeah, because you're used to it now, it's not a big deal. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going it's back. It's like people turn around and they say to me, oh, how do you do? Like, how can you go back and forth like every single weekend and come to London from Latvia? And it's like, I don't know, I don't see it. They're like, but you fly out and it's like, oh, there's nothing. It's kind of like I'm sitting on the bus. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and have some dinner and oh, the camera's not focusing we'll be back okay guys so the reason why I look so rough is because this was day one of commuting I commuted in total three and a half hours which isn't that bad so it was an hour and a half to get there and two hours to come back because the train was longer mm, it's doable but it's kind of long and sorry I look so gross it's basically because this is my makeup from 6 a.m. and it is now it's quarter to seven. Um, I've just had dinner. I'm gonna edit this vlog for you guys and upload. And I'll keep you updated on how I feel about commuting. I might just move into the accommodation or I might continue to commute, I don't know. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, I'm just gonna edit this video, upload it for you guys, do some studying and then head to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Stay so much, please don't forget to subscribe. I cannot believe we've hit 12,000 subscribers, that is madness. So if you guys wanna join the fam, and by the fam I mean my whole fam, you guys are part of it. I don't even think that makes sense, I'm sorry I'm delusional, but yeah, please come join the fam, basically. Subscribe, I would be very happy to have you a part of my family on here on YouTube, and give this video a thumbs up. I uh, love you all so much. My socials are always linked down in the description, so don't forget to check them out. My Instagram is Persian Bunny, which is the main thing that I use, social media that I use, and everything else is linked down below. Love you so much. See you next time. Bye.